What is going on everybody? My name is Anna Xer Cosmo and welcome back to another Overwatch video. So today I'm doing the occasional hero video I like to do on my channel every now and then where we go over a few heroes and abilities I think could either possibly join the roster or I come up with abilities myself that I think would be pretty cool. This video is actually a lot more special than my other hero videos because this first hero I want to talk about actually has a very high chance of actually being in the game, practically confirmed at this point, whereas in my other hero videos, it's more on the lines of concepts or heroes from the lore that could make their way into the game, but this one is pretty solid. But before I show you guys what I think could be the next hero in Overwatch, a large percentage of you who watch are not subscribed, so if you like my videos, please consider subscribing, and if you don't like my videos, don't subscribe. Alright, enough blabbing now and let's get into the heroes and abilities. So first off, I want to start off with a hero that most of you probably know about, which is the one I was talking about before, and is the Fox Ninja Hero from Kanazaka. We still don't have a definite name, but we do know that she is a ninja and from Kanazaka, so that kind of explains why we call her that. The lore is pretty self-explanatory, I'm not going to spend too long on that, I have multiple videos talking about her lore, so if you do want to hear that, then you can go and check out what will be popping up on the screen on the top right now. Also, just to sum it up, basically, she is a ninja assassin, so I'm just going to assume that she's going to be a DPS, so I really just want to get straight into her abilities starting off with her primary fire. So there was an article talking about what this hero could look like from a Blizzard presentation, talking about new heroes and her weapon was compared to, and I'm, I'm gonna terribly like pronounce this name, but Yuffie, Yuffie from Final Fantasy. So it's basically just a giant shuriken to put it simple. And the actual name for it is actually called a traditional demon win shuriken. I had no idea this thing existed. I thought these shurikens, like it's like the giant shurikens from like Naruto. I thought they were literally fake and just like from that. <laughs> And another YouTuber, Master Ian Gamer, had a good way for this to work, so I, I really liked it and I just wanted to give him credit before I said anything. So basically, the Fox Girl will throw the shuriken and it will actually act as almost like a boomerang. I have a video up on the screen showing how these things work. <laughs> oh, that looks really nice. I'm sure most of you know how a boomerang works, so there's not much more explaining to do. You throw it and it does damage and then it flies back, but it can also hit those targets on the way back. This could be used for some crazy skill shots, but also like at the same time I can very easily see this turning into a super cheese ability and we don't need more of those, so we definitely need to see a way of balancing this out. It would also be cool if it could like bounce off walls, but the more I talk about this the more cancer it gets to play against, but I do just think that would be pretty cool. Now because she is one of the Japanese heroes and she is a ninja, I do think she should be able to climb up walls as a passive like Genji and Hanzo. I think it would really benefit her primary fire, so that's why I'm going to give it to her. Now up next, starting on her first ability, is going to be called Poison Shot. Remember guys, these are just being made up by me, nothing's official, I just want to get that out of the way also. So with this ability, once it's activated, the user will be given 3 poisoned kunai knives that she can throw at any enemy. She can charge them up and the longer she charges them to throw it will do more damage not a one shot but does do a significant amount of damage and will add a new poison effect the kunai will do its base damage but then for every 15 seconds comes in the poison effect every five seconds it will do 10 damage for 15 seconds i think that it is pretty balanced and wouldn't be too op if placed on the correct cooldown time so her next ability, I know I'm going to be stealing this from Widow and they wouldn't put a duplicate ability in the game, but I personally think it would be cool for her kit is a grappling hook. I wanted to make this hero all about mobility besides her ult really, so this would get her into even better positions combined with her climbing because she's in my mind supposed to be a quick ninja with like fox like abilities, bringing us to the last part and a lot of people are going to be wanting to hear this part which is her ultimate which I'm going to call possess. So we are told a lot about a nine-tailed fox a lot within the story and her ultimate is basically going to give her a flamethrower almost and that sounds weird with like the fox, but let me explain. It will also act like one of soldier or genji's ults, how those types of ults can't be stunned. Well they can be stunned but it doesn't take the ult away. So the spirit will possess her kind of like the Japanese folklore which I talked about in another video also popping up on the top right right now. <laughs> and she will turn like gold or blue or whatever color they want to make her spirit, that, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> 
and she will shoot fire from like her mouth it will almost be as like the spirits it, the spirit is inside her not almost like the spirits inside her and it will hurt enemies but will heal teammates it will set enemies on fire so if it touches them it will give them a flame effect kind of like ash's dynamite and it sounds kind of like moira's ultimate but way more powerful i honestly couldn't really think of a lot of cool ultimate variations with the fox hero so if you have any ideas i want you guys to let me know in the comments below i would love to read all of those now, going into the next hero, this is a concept, but I want to say I don't know if they have been hired, but Blizzard needs to hire the creator of this, because god, it is amazing. The creator's name of this is Perfate, I hope I said that right, that's their Overwatch username, but holy, after I go through everything, like, quickly and, like, glance over most of it, this whole portfolio might need its own video of, like, reviewing, because that's how good it is. So, up on the screen right now is the lore of Tara, that is the hero's name, and she is a new support hero. Tara is age 27 and she is a marine conservationist. I hope I said that right. <laughs> A lot of big one, not even that big of a word. I speak English. I should be able to read that word. <laughs> Who works for the Fighting Fish organization in Thailand. Her role is to care for the coasts and look after marine life around the country. When Omnic crisis occurred, the coastal area was damaged awfully since then. As a result, the Fighting Fish invented the equipment to restore the shores and ocean life which Tara was a volunteer in testing the tools and entering the field to fight the Omnics. So the blue accents on this hero and like the fish marine biologist kind of aspects of the skin and just like the watery aspects of everything is super cool. It all fits together. Does The design is just crazy. Next question. And I want to look at her weapon next. It kind of shoots bubbles as you can see on the screen right now. I'm not really sure if this is like a charge up. It doesn't really look like it is, but you guys can make of that what you see. Probably it's like, I think, I don't think it's a charge up. It might be. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide in the comments below. <laughs> so next is her first ability. Now, I don't think this would work without being super OP unless there was a way to break out of it or it had to be super precise. This is what the artist wrote for it. So fire and energy from a gun that will block an enemy in a bubble for two seconds. A character can control which way the bubble can go, but cannot move the character self while doing so. So I guess this could be balanced since she's standing still, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this once again in the comments below. Her next ability is going to be a healing drone, and as you can see on the screen, once again, the design knocks a lot of other concepts just out of the park completely. It is described as bringing out a small drone that automatically heals allies into 1.5 meters of radius, and two drones at the same time can be out at once. I don't know how well this would work, also making things look a little bit crowded with Baptiste's lamp, but I do think it would be a pretty cool ability and it felt like swam around. Now, there is no ultimate listed with all of this concept, but I do think I came up with a pretty good one myself. Now, I'm going to call this ultimate School of Fish, and instead of only two, there's going to be a School of Fish <laughs> that's spread throughout the area and heals everyone, pumping everyone up with heals, keeping everyone alive. I don't think this is too OP and is a pretty good take considering her whole entire kit is surrounded around water and fish, so I think it fits together pretty well, actually. What do you guys think of these two heroes? Let me know in the comments below. Below. If you guys enjoyed the video, want more hero videos like this, please drop a like, it helps the channel out a lot, and if you want more gaming content and news, hit that subscribe button and become a member if you love my videos a lot and want to support my channel, and that bell so you can see all my videos when they first come out. Also, if you want a shout out at the end of the video, leave a comment and you can get picked for that. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.